Hi guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 career mode. Here today on the channel, we're back with season two of my Roma career mode series on FIFA's Realism mod. Here today, we're going to be doing the entirety of season two in today's video so we're coming off a successful season one where we won syria the scudetto the coppa italia and the europa league this time around in season two we want to try and make top four retain some of those trophies and try and complete the overarching season objective of winning the uefa Champions League. Can't wait to get stuck into it for you guys. Let's go on Pfeiffer's Realism Mod. Welcome guys to Season 2 to the Jose Mourinho Challenge Series. Now the Roma board have given me 70 million pounds to rebuild this Roma squad to challenge in the UEFA Champions League. We're going to try and win it and at least make the final in this season. But if it takes another season, season three or four, before we win the Champions League, I will not end this series until we win the Champions League. So I've got a lot of aging players here that we might potentially need to move on and just bring in some more squad depth. So here is the team from last year, 4-2-3-1. Dzeko Pellegrini, Lamella is going to be returning from his loan uh, to Spurs. Diaz, Vitaus, Christie, Spinazzola, Smalling, Rudiger, uh, Alonso, and Lopez in goal. So we definitely need to flesh out our substitutional uh, bench. So I'm currently negotiating with PSG to get our former player Paredes on loan. He'd give us some good squad depth. And I'm trying to get Eric Dyer on loan. And I'm also negotiating with Liverpool to bring back Mo Salah. Was the highly recommended player from you guys. So we'll try and get this contract done. Barca want Rudiger, but it fell through. Mickey could be going as well. And I found a bunch of these free agents. 18 worth a million pounds. They look alright. These guys could bring us in some cheaper squad depth. They look really good. Pedro has unfortunately been sold to AC Milan. Um, it's a shame that he went to a rival. However... We probably weren't going to get that amount of cash from, from anyone else, but he's going to be facing us in Serie A. So it looks like the deal's going to go through for £75 million, pounds, the majority of our budget. So the 29-year-old Mo Salah has returned to Roma, his former club, Real Madrid, Barcelona couldn't afford him. But he's come back to Roma to hopefully help us in the Champions League. I've also gone out and signed some of these youngsters as well. Uh, Zane looks alright. Sylvie as well. It must be the realism mod. These must be like Youth Academy products, which the AI didn't pick up, I guess. Or they're just randomly generated players. Now, unfortunately, we have sold Mkhitaryan. Look, I love Mickey. Had an amazing season last year, but he's just going too far down in stats. We signed him for £12 million to Wolves. Now, it's always worth looking at the transfer-listed players in the Realism mod, because you can pick up some really good signings. Baba Rahman there, Drinkwater. And I've also gone out and sold Olivier Giroud in the twilight of his career. He wanted to go spend his final seasons at Saint Etienne in France for £7 million. Helped us so much last season. But he's dropped like five overall ratings. So it's a shame. I thank you for your service, Giroud. A £60 million bid was our asking price for Luis Diaz, who could be joining. Atletico Madrid. Newcastle wanted Alonso as well. 
I've loaned in Michi Batshawai. He was on the transfer list. Just to give us some extra squad depth with Giroud going. We definitely need another striker. 78 overall. We'll take him. I've also gone out and signed Alex uh, Centelles for £15 million pounds to back up Alonso. So the Spaniard is coming in. And we needed another goalkeeper. We actually only had one first team goalkeeper. So we've gone and signed Montipo. Uh, the 25 year old isn't that highly rated, but he's quite cheap. Okay, so with those new signings, this is the team still going with the Jose Mourinho 4 2 3 1. And Mo Salah is the major player coming in. So I will be doing the entirety of Season 2 in today's video, guys. So stay tuned for that. Now, I will be simulating the entirety of the Serie A season as we played it last year. This team should be competitive enough to win in most of the Sims. So that's the first team. I'll show off the second team as well. But I'm only allowed to play cup finals in this season too. So we've still got the Super Cupper. That's like the Italian Community Shield. And the UEFA Super Cup as well against Manchester City. So we'll play those two matches first up here today. Two trophies that we haven't had an opportunity to play in or win. So let's go for it. But here's the second team as well. A lot of those youngsters coming in. This guy looks alright. Mora, Portuguese, centre-back. I have a sneaky suspicion that he could be very well Pepe's regen, but I don't know to be exact. And here are some of the other Youth Academy products we brought in. I'll go through the entire transfer list for us and other teams around the world, if you're curious. So for £75 million, we could have brought in potentially... Allison or Marquinhos, but the majority of you guys wanted to see Mo Salah return to his former club. And Hernandez has gone to Barca. Oh, Thurman has gone to Inter. Hazard to Atleti. Jimenez to Liverpool. Benyetta to Spurs. A lot of big transfers going through. Okay, so... Why is the fixture list so clustered? That's so annoying. So we might have to play our second team against Lazio, Lazio and then the first team against Manchester City. All right, let's get stuck into Lazio in the Super Cup. We'll play with the second team, of course, on ultimate difficulty. Hopefully, we can get over the line. But we're playing with a lot of our new youngsters. Let's get stuck into Lazio. Okay, welcome to the Super Cupper. Yeah, it's essentially like the Community Shield for Italy. And it's a Rome derby as well. All right, let's get stuck into Lazio. They interestingly have Andreas Iniesta in midfield. I wouldn't have expected that one. Zaniolo whips the ball into the box. Lazio headed out. They've also got David Luiz on the pitch. Paredes on his debut back. May Oral starts off the scoring. We brought in Michi Batshuayi as a little bit of a competition. Mayo Oral. Oh, May Oral. <laughs> That's how you say his name. We haven't had much goals or highlights from him, him in this series. Man, he used to be such a good career mode striker. It's a shame what's happened to his potential. But he's done alright there. Oh my god, what is this? The ghost of Iniesta? What? <laughs> I have a feeling. What is that? That's ridiculous. So Iniesta, for some reason, his game model's broken. And Correa there is hugging thin air. I think it's broken for some reason. <laughs> Maybe Iniesta doesn't have a model in the realism mod. Oh my god. I couldn't defend. I couldn't see him. Lazio's been cursed there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, I have a feeling there wasn't a model. All. Isn't I don't know where Iniesta is. Was he in Japan at one point? 
But he's somehow been transferred to Lazio. Crazy scenes. And he has to scores. Haas on his debut, one of the free agents we picked up. Mayor Real hits it low and hard. That's actually a really good driven shot there. I'm quite surprised. It's Mayo. Mayo. I can't say his name properly. May Oral. <laughs> That's a, a silly name. But he's come up with a really good goal there. He drove it straight off his boot. Good stuff. It's good to see a couple of these free agents getting a run into the side as well. Correa, Lazio go forward with Immobile. Second team doing all right oh, for the majority of this match. Now we conceded to Immobile. 2-2. Two -two. Could go to penalties in the Super Cupper. Oh, it's disappointing. Luis Alberto, Lazio on the attack, looking for the third in extra time now. Alberto, Immobile. Good tackle, but it's a penalty. Uh, uh, that's a little bit soft. Lopez steps up. Immobile, chips. I got baited there. Lazio go 3-2 up. The second team can't get over the line. Look, I want to try and win this. I might have to bring on the first team. Okay, so we've still got an extra time half here. We've got four substitutions available. Three because I haven't used any, and then the fourth because of the extra time sub. For the last, like, half an hour of this match, we'll bring on... Uh, Pellegrini, Dzeko, Mo Salah, and Diaz as well. Yeah, so we're out of substitutions. Hopefully they can at least bring it to pens. Good win back there. By Diawara, Dzeko, Pellegrini, Mo Salah on his debut. Just needs to cut back now. Somehow guides it through. And it's Mo Salah to make it 3-3 on the stroke of the first half of extra time. It's Mo Salah, the number 16. I've got to change that. <laughs> I've got to change the kit numbers. I wasn't expecting to have to bring them on in this, but Mo Salah's brought it back to 3-3. Instant impact. Maybe even nutmegged. No, not quite. Oh, just shy of the right there. But 3-3. Roma bring it back. What a crazy derby this is. Good stuff. Mo scores his first. Lazio from kickoff. Trying to build it up from the back. Escalante. Alberta. Pellegrini puts, puts in a good tackle. Dzeko to Salah. Shoots and scores! <laughs> Three minutes in after coming on. Mo Salah scores a brace. Oh, that just shows you the quality when you bring in a 90-plus rated player. Seven goals in the Coppa Italia. Lazio gifted a penalty, and Mo Salah has scored an amazing brace. Oh, the Lazio defense is exhausted, and they've just lost it to Mo Salah's left foot. What a signing. Vina Vinaviki. Mo Salah has came he saw, and he's conquered. Fantastic. From Mo. And Lazio trying to get one late goal, but that's it. The full-time whistle is blown. <laughs> We've won the Super Cup for the first time. And... I'm going to celebrate this one. Whew. Another trophy to the cabinet. Jose Mourinho is added. So now we got Man City in the UEFA Super Cup. Alwa's joined Juventus. Hopefully the first team isn't exhausted. No, they're not. All right, let's get stuck into Pep Guardiola's Man City. Let's go.
So it looks like they're playing their first team. Oh my god, we're playing in this old, decrepit stadium. This has been like in there since FIFA 12. Man City looking to go on the attack. They've rotated some youngsters in as well. De Bruyne going forward. Smalling against Man City. Obviously hates them. So the United rivalry. Dzeko tackled. He's facing his former side. Edison trying to bring it out from the back. Pellegrini comes up to press. Garcia whips an amazing ball into Bernardo Silva. What a crazy diagonal pass. Roulette. Silva now. Raheem Sterling. Bustos? Who is Bustos? <laughs> okay. No idea who that is. A new signing... For Man City. Alright. 1-0. Second half now. Salah. Dzeko. Vertout. Against the run of play. He shoots. He scores. He's come up massively clutch there. Cool, calm and collected. The Frenchman Vertout comes up with an amazing goal. And it's 1-1 in the UEFA Super Cup. Come on. I can't wait to see how many trophies we can end this career mode series with. Because it's going to be crazy. First time in the UEFA Super Cup we lead after winning the Super Copper. 1-1. One, one. Man City determined to come back in this match. Aguero not going to Barca, getting an extra year. Zinchenko goes forward on the left, looking to bring the ball in from the overlapping fullback run. Inside calmly to De Bruyne, a nice one-two pass. Good tackle by Roma. Mo Salah needs to release it and really go, go, go. Drives into midfield. Waits for the run of Michi Batshuayi off the bench. Can't get it back into Michi. I know. Oh, good tackle there, Christy. Hang on. Zaniolo. Yes! It's Zaniolo. And Manchester City are furious. Off the touchline. I said I probably should have brought on uh, May Oral um, instead of Michi, but... We've done all right there. He's faked the run. Zaniolo, fresh off the bench. Haven't seen much of him too much in Season 2. But hopefully he can get a little bit more of a run now that he's getting up in overall rating. Pep Guardiola, bald fraud on the touchline. <laughs> I kid, I kid, Guardiola. But Zaniolo there has come up clutch in the Super Cup. And that's it. 2-1 Roma win. Maybe if they played Aguero and a better defense, they might have got a, a better result. But two unlikely goal scorers with Smalling lifting the trophy. And we've already won two trophies to start things off. Perfect. I've gone out and signed a additional right back. I've signed... Bologna's Tommy Yasu, Japanese international, six foot two, Syria proven for twelve million pounds. All right, we've been drawn in the away for Champions League against Dynamo Kiev, Ghent, and Liverpool. A tough group, as Liverpool probably would be expected to top it. Kiev is not an easy place to go to. But the Serie A season's about to kick off, which I'm going to simulate. Hopefully this team should be enough to be competitive. I feel like I've rebuilt it enough, and I trust it to make top four and do well in the Champions League. I can't wait to see the results. Come on, guys. So two losses to Liverpool, not good. Good win there against Juventus, 1-0. Crotone. And we've been knocked out in the cup there by AC. 
We've been drawn against Real Madrid in the round of 16 of the Champions League. We've won the first leg 3-2. And we've gone through 3-1. Quarterfinals against PSG. 2-1, 3-2 we lost. Oh, I guess we went through on goal difference. So we've got Juventus in the semis, which we won 2-1 and then 3-1. And we've made it to the UEFA Champions League final against Liverpool. Okay, let's go through the stats of the season to see where we finished up. So we qualified with them in the group. Villarreal got knocked out in the semis. We won 5-2 there. Oh, we drew on away goals. Yeah, that's what I thought. 4-4 in the quarters against PSG. And then we managed to beat Real Madrid 6-3. Ah, so they've actually beaten us twice this season. Ugh. If there was a team to get in the final against, it'd be, we wouldn't want to be getting against Liverpool. Um, and we finished second. Inter won Serie A on 100 points. And we didn't make the final of the Coppa Italia. Juventus won it this year. So we couldn't retain that title, unfortunately. And here are the board objectives. I'm just curious more so than anything. So they wanted me to win the title. We finished in second. And they wanted us to reach the semi-finals of the Champions League. We've now reached the final against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. Who would have thought Mo Salah would be facing his former side? So basically my season is all hinged on that Champions League final. I've only got 66 points there. All right. Here is the moment you've all been waiting for. The UEFA Champions League. Let's go. They've brought in Ego Aspas, the former Lazio player. Now, because we're doing a Roma career series, we've got to play in the red. Come on. Liverpool can play in their historic yellow, which they've won a fair few cups in. Okay, guys, welcome to the Santiago Bernabeu Liverpool in a cup final with Jose Mourinho's Roma. Let's go. Liverpool with the first opportunity of the match. 16 minutes in. Hendo drills it to Firmino. Mane running forward. Cuts it back inside. It's a sweaty goal from Bobby Firmino there. What fantastic technical ability from Mane to drill it forward. And it's a calm, cute little finish there by Firmino. And Mo Salah. Roma concede the first goal. <sighs> Not good. Liverpool looking to capitalise further from their position. Firmino chips. And we've got to build it out from the back now. Zaniolo. To Edin Dzeko. Finishes it. Allison had to come out but couldn't collect. It's Edin Dzeko to score. In the Champions League final in Madrid. What a historic goal. Somehow snuck it past there. Nearly ran it too far into the keeper. 1-1. One, one. Mo Salah, second half now against his former side. Zaniolo shoots at Allison. Nice checks shot. Pellegrini whips the ball into the box. Dzeko! Oh, we rarely score from a corner piece like that. That's sloppy by Liverpool. Who was not marking Dzeko? Where was Van Dijk? You can't allow Edin to score a brace like that. And Roma go 2-1 up. I've got to check this out. Three players couldn't contend with the unlimited power there of Edin Dzeko. Yeah, look at this. Who's marking who? Trent couldn't save it on the line. Van Dijk has been man-marking Dzeko for the majority of this match. But not for that set piece. 2-1. Roma lead in the Champions League final. Will that be enough? And it is. 2-1. We've beaten Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool in Season 2. Far out. I can't believe we've done it. Celebrating with the boys in Madrid. Roma have won the Champions League. Let's go, man.
Pellegrini lifting the trophy for Roma. What a trophy collection we've had in this series. Man, I love this Roma side so much. So many good players and so many good boys. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Roma. I can't wait to, to go through the stats for the entire season. All right, guys, we'll go through the stats. Ed and Dzeko's gone up in stats, which is surprising. When he's like 36, how has he gone up a plus three? I don't know how that exactly works. But you're most welcome to pause and have a look at the overall ratings for the team. So, we've completed our main objectives of winning the Champions League. We've won two European Cups. We've won the Coppa Italia, the Super Cup in UEFA Champions League. Unfortunately, we lost the league title to Inter. But we won it last year, of course. But yeah. Let me know what you would like me to replace this career mode series with. Tempted to maybe play as, I don't know, Lille, Everton, Dortmund, Inter maybe. There's still a fair few sides that I haven't done a career mode with. Just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support on this career mode series i hope i've made my roma subscribers proud and obviously jose Mourinho. but jeco 42 goals most 29 pellegrini 17 but i built a competitive enough side to at least make top four finishing second is not too bad in the sim so there is the team the final team and I guess we could have a look at potential job offers as well. But I feel like I've pushed this Roma team as far as I could. We could accept one of these job offers, potentially. So, one club, one league title, two dom uh, one domestic cup, two continental. But that doesn't show you the... Yeah, so it's actually seven cups in two seasons that we won. Crikey. Out of like... Uh, so if we won seven, there was probably a potential ten or so? Nine. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so I feel like season three of the Roma career mode would be a little bit fruitless because we've gone and won anything. I think we need a new challenge at a different club. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for another upload. Don't know what it is. Coming out tomorrow at the exact same time. And I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members members are available. Use creator code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, Merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.